Well, hello, everyone. Uh, Paul Akers here. One of the things I talk about in the book in Lean Health is the idea of having the picture diet where you share the things that you're eating with other people. So there's about four of us together on our picture diet. And it's just the coolest thing because it's a bunch of uh, high level executives and presidents of companies and consultants. And we're all sharing our ideas together. And this morning when we were doing it, uh, one of the guys said, you know, you should really record this, Paul, and put it on YouTube so people can see what we're doing because it's such a cool thing that we're supporting one another. So I said, that's a great idea. Let's go ahead and do that. A little bit of continuous improvement, a little bit of lean. So I just wanted to show everyone there are three apps that you could use. You can actually do the picture diet really easily, just text messaging. But we use Voxer. It's fast and easy. It's great. Or WhatsApp or WeChat. Any way you want to do it, we happen to be using Voxer for this one. So I'm just going to let it play through right now and let you hear how four guys are encouraging each other along their lean health journey. It's very cool. Good morning, guys. It's... Uh... A nice, wet, miserably cold day up here in the Northwoods of Wisconsin. But it, what a beautiful day to go out and walk your 10,000 steps. So I've got my rain gear on and I'm just heading out and I'm going to uh, face this uh, frigid tundra and this UFO go forward. At least it's not ice and snow. So uh, since there's no ice and snow, perfect. Still going to go out walking. So I'm going to hit my steps this morning and keep going. Joanne's laughing her head off. Uh, your explanation, she says, tell, tell, them, tell them frigid and tundra and cold uh, doesn't make any sense to people from Manitoba. That's balmy weather. Stop complaining, man. <laughs> We're going out today, too. It is sunny. Yesterday was a bad day for everybody, I think. Anyways, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know what we do today. I'm just uh, heading out the door. Saturdays, I've got some steps in this morning, and uh, Kingston's a beautiful uh, city to, to walk in. I'll, I'll just want to get down and walk here. I'll take a picture of you. It's like here I am at here I am at the Saturday morning uh, farmers market. Way okay, way in this morning, uh, I hit the two fifty mark or two fifty nine. I'm in the two fifties now, so it's uh, it's going off. It's coming down. So. Uh, it's good to be in the uh, 250 range, and uh, I'm shooting now to keep going. Wow, that's fantastic, Michael. So how many pounds off is that now? Thanks, Glenn. That's uh, 12 pounds within the month. Oh, that's crazy. Way to go, Michael. Uh, so I'm up in, at our place in Canada, and we're in uh, between two houses. So I don't the scale I have here I don't trust. I'm waiting to go back, going back to Pennsylvania where I have like a medical scale, um, I'm going to do that on Monday. So I haven't been reporting my weight because of that. Okay, breakfast after my walk of uh, 13,350 steps is a nice hearty kale, straw, uh, kale, raspberry, and banana smoothie. Okay, yeah, I'm looking at the uh, clock. Uh, it's getting near lunch. I'm up. Maybe I'll go for an early lunch and get a uh, Greek salad with grilled chicken. All right, guys, so this is a little wicked. Uh, you know, I hearing you guys talk about your frigid walks and rain and everything, and, you know, I, I must admit that I haven't done any walking this morning, but uh, and I, I feel a little wicked sharing this with you, but I, I did do laps in my pool here in San Diego, so you guys keep it up, and, I, you know, I, I, you, you're just awesome. So here's breakfast. Scrambled eggs, spinach, onion, and artichoke hearts. So you guys are just inspiring. Keep it up. We're all rolling. That is crazy. Mike, you're awesome, man. That is crazy good. I'm so happy for you. Glenn, I want to see the 130s for you. When are we going to get that? You mean the 230s? I feel like I've really made a real transformation here. I, I don't have a want to drink anymore. And I look at wheat and sugar and all that and starch as just... So it's just has a zero appeal to me. Whereas when I first started this thing, you were saying, I hate starch and I hate sugar. It's like, really? I kind of really love that stuff. And uh, I'm, learn I'm learning to have a disdain for it too. Conversations would probably be a great thing to put into your book as a, uh, you know, maybe something people could scan with their phone and just hear what it sounds like to have a, guys coaching each other I, i've never done this before and i find it really the secret that i found with you with 
lean and with this diet is the enthusiasm put on the most simple, small, mundane things. And that's where the change happens. And I think that's where everybody fails. People are always looking for the, the big thing. And you celebrate the teeniest, tiniest things. And I think that's what makes all the difference. Here you have four grown men, CEOs and consultants, talking about you know, what they sprinkled on their food and boxing each other, really disturbing each other through their days. And everybody I know has busy, important days. And we're, we're putting this diet thing to such a level of like, did you go for a walk today? Did you, uh, you know, have, have a, just one drink or did you lose a quarter pound? You know, uh, so we're, we're interrupting our days with this kind of talk. So it sort of underscores how important this is for everyone. Also, um, uh, I was talking to Paul this morning, and I was saying to Paul, this, me losing weight, going from, uh, I don't know, two and a half months ago, 308 pounds, to now 267, so over 40 pounds in two and a half to three months, over 40 pounds. I told Paul, um, not, I didn't even say if I keep this off, because I'm going to continue to lose another 60 pounds. But I told Paul, this has got to be at least another 10 years on my life. And when I look at it like that, I think about the long term here. I've gained 10 years on my life. And Paul says, you're forgetting one thing, quality years. And I said, you know, you're so right. Look at the difference between, you know, even my old football coach, I, I saw him last week. And he's still at the same weight. He's always been telling me to lose weight. I never did until now. And he's still at the same weight. And his knees are hurting. He's going, uh, getting some surgery. The quality of life that I'm going to get back is 10 times. If there's no number on it. I mean, it's higher quality of life for at least 10 to 20 years, probably 20 years I've gained by doing these little things every day. I just can't believe it. And I'm so thankful to you guys for helping me out. Hey, thanks, George. So there you have it. It's pretty amazing that we're able to do that. And I just wanted to show you the scale that I was talking about. It's made by Taylor. I found it at Target. And it really is the coolest thing. This thing pulls out if you want. But your, your feet go right there. And it works perfect. So I'm going to start traveling with this. And that is an example of the picture diet. We do it all on our iPhones, our smartphones, and it works fantastic. I encourage you to do it. It's the coolest thing ever. It's just great to encourage other people. And everybody's having success with this. That's the best part. So there you go, the picture diet.